my name is Yusuf, and I'm the founder of Julib. Uh, before I start, uh, I will share our story. Uh, I was working in the uh, pharmaceutical fields in sales and marketing uh, for five years, and uh, I was spotting some opportunities and gaps. And in 2018, we started uh, Julib as a pharmacy aggregator. Uh, we launched an application where users can order their, pharma their pharmacy products and it gets delivered to their house. And uh, we have been doing this until June 2020. Uh, with the spike of COVID, uh, we have learned a lot of things and we noticed a lot of gaps in our model. So we decided to pivot. Uh, we pivoted to a uh, POS uh, provider uh, to pharmacies with a special philosophy. Uh, today, uh, we are a uh, SaaS POS for pharmacies and beyond. Our philosophy is to, to not only provide software, to also encourage the growth of small and medium pharmacies through technical enablement and network empowerment. Our prototype or phase one POS software. It includes uh, POS capabilities. It has product catalog, inventory moves. Uh, it connects to a uh, system of the government where it allows the tracking of medication. Uh, it has a daily dashboard where it has uh, live updates. Uh, you have sales and inventory reports and it has an accounting module. Our upcoming ecosystem uh, will be a full ERP with the uh, special features uh, where it includes the enablement of e-commerce, uh, e-prescriptions and prescription dispensing, uh, a full product catalog of all pharmacy products. Uh, we will connect with last mile delivery where it allows pharmacies to deliver it to end users. It allows to the compliance of government regulation and we will connect to suppliers as integrated inventory services. Uh, our business model, uh, we have a setup fee and then an annual subscription uh, service. Also, we offer hardware package. We have two hardware packages where we get a referral fee on. And we have added value services such as data migration and on-ground installations. Uh, our business model and traction. So in phase one, uh, we make revenue on software revenues. Uh, phase two is a commission on the B2B purchases. Uh, we started uh, after we stopped in uh, June 2020, our aggregation, uh, our pharmacy aggregator model. Uh, we started developing our POS and we started piloting in September. Uh, we had 30 pharmacies that we approached. Uh, currently, we have five pharmacies on demo and we have one uh, customer who signed and we're currently in implementation to uh, get his system live. Uh, in KSA, there are 7,000 pharma retail pharmacies and our uh, goal to capture 15% with around 1,000 pharmacies in the next five years. Our current team includes uh, myself as a founder, uh, the co-founder is my brother, who's a PhD uh, in, in, data, in data science uh, and pharmaceuticals. Uh, we have a CTO and we have a data lead and IT analyst, and we have a, a group of developers as well. Our value proposition is we have a friendly pricing Three schemes. time is up. Um, okay. When the session starts. Sure. So, and your target market is Saudi Arabia? Yes, so our start target market is Saudi Arabia and we will expand uh, to the region once we penetrate the Saudi market. Do you have competitors in other countries? Uh, I am fully aware of Saudi Arabia. I am not aware of other regions. In Saudi Arabia, there are other providers. However, with our latest technology, uh, we have uh, we, we have more strength in what we, in what we offer. Okay. Hi, Yusuf. Um, hi. hi uh, great presentation. I, I just wanted to ask because as you alluded to, regulations are quite different. Even Saudi is very different from UAE. 
where I am. Um, I think uh, we, you know, we spoke to another company in the same space that is moving from Egypt to Saudi. So you might consider as well Egypt, which is uh, a huge uh, market uh, for you. My question would be like, uh, you know, would it be targeted for like pharmacy chains or also hospital pharmacies? And for that, like, you know, how to convince, because I've seen that many hospitals here would like to kind of uh, have an alternative to procure uh, medicine and drugs at cheaper prices. So how is your competitive advantage? In yes. That? So our focus in phase one is uh, smaller pharmacies. So more of independent and less than 30, uh, uh, a retail with, with less than 30 branches. So we're not targeting hospital nor bigger branches. Uh, our uh, initial 30 pharmacies included a pharmacy that have a clinic in the same company. So we're in discussion to provide the system for the clinic and the software for the pharmacy. But we're not targeting hospital nor uh, more than 30 branches at phase one. All right. And what's the onboarding time for you to set up your technology? So we are setting six weeks for the pharmacy from the day they sign to have their fully uh, active with all their information uh, moved to the new system. Uh, and you have one currently paying customer, correct? Uh, so they signed. They did not uh, transfer yet. We have the implementation plan to start in October uh, 15. So in the next few days. All right. Thank you. No problem. Okay, thank you so much.